Hello guys, and welcome to another Bucket Plugin tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use placeholders in your plugin. Now there's many use cases where you would use placeholders, but I'm going to be using them in a configuration file which the user of the plugin can set custom join or quit messages for the server. So in here, the placeholder I'm going to use is I'm going to put 2% signs, and then in between those 2% signs I'm going to have the placeholder name. In this case, I'm going to be using a player. And I'm going to do the same thing right here in my quit message. I can go ahead and customize the message here. I can make it like, has joined the server. And we can add some color codes in here too. To make our message look nice and fancy. And we'll do the same thing here. Alright, now that we have the easy part out of the way, let's go right on over here. So I have a tutorial on my channel showing you how to get to this point. So I'm not going to go over this again. If you are interested and want to follow along, I will have a card on screen and I will have a link in the description. So, all this is doing is uh, broadcasting a message to all the players whenever someone joins the server and I can put in my message right here. So, I'm going to make my message a variable from here. And I forgot to set this up, so let me do this really quick. Alright, now that I have that out of the way, my bad, I can go ahead and get to this part. So, I'm going to get the string. The path I made was join message and quit message, so I can go ahead and type that in here. This one's join message, and the next one's going to be quit message. And then after that, I want to use a function built right in the Java in the string class called replace all. And right here, we're going to put in a string. Now, if you just use replace, it's only going to allow you to input a single character like that but we do not want to do that we want to replace a string of characters so I'm going to put two percent signs and our player right in there and then after our placeholder we put what we want to replace it with and I have a variable for the players name right here so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I can go ahead and copy the same thing down to right here except set it to the quit message and I forgot we need to do one more thing after we do both of these things uh, I'm just going to do it on a new line here we want to translate the color codes we put in the message so I'm going to go ahead and do that right here And I'm going to copy it so I can put it up right there too. And now we're good to go. I'll see you guys in the server. Alright, and as you can see right there, our message has worked. And I won't be able to show you the quit message, but I assure you that one works as well. Anyways guys, if this helped you out, make sure you leave a like. And if you have any other ideas for any videos I should make, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you have any issues, let me know down there. I can try to help you out. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Nice. The mutt's nuts, in fact.